Yo, what's good with y'all? In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to make a radio and stuff. Pretty much, you walk up to the radio the way I'm going to be using it, or making it, I should say. It's going to use a proximity prompt where, like, you trigger it, and then it'll start playing music. It'll start playing music locally, which, if you don't know, that means it'll only play for the client, like, the, the person who's activating it, not, like, the entire server and stuff. But yeah, this is one of my subscriber requested videos. So yeah, let's get straight into it. Yeah. Oh, before I get into the video, I just want to say thank you guys for the support. Went from like 328 yesterday to 334 today. So loving the support. Keep it up, guys. So, yeah, I'm trying to stay as consistent as possible. I'm trying to think of content for y'all. So yeah, let's get straight into it though. All right. So first thing first, of course, we're gonna need ourselves a little radio. We're not gonna do. We're not gonna make something amazing, but just a little radio. You feel me? I feel like honestly, like a little block, and then if you just make it like, like metal and like a. Yeah, like a dark gray. Yeah, that, that look a little nice, you feel me? We're going to say that's our radio, right? I know it doesn't look that much like a radio, but we're going to say we're gonna say that's our radio, right? Um, Go ahead and name the part radio, of course. And then, of course, anchor it. Insert a proximity prompt into it. Call this radio prompt. Then we are going to go down to starter player, then open it up to starter player scripts and insert a local script there. Reminder that you cannot uh, use local scripts in the workspace, like they won't work and stuff. If they did, we would just put it in there, but obviously it doesn't. So we're just going to have to use starter player scripts. So we'll call this radio script, right? Of course, we're going to make some variables. First, we're going to need to make a radio variable. So we'll do local radio is equal to game the workspace star radio. Then we'll need to, we'll need to get some sound. You feel me? I already. Oh, I think I deleted it though. I did delete it. Okay. Well, anyway. Um. Now, obviously, for the sake of copyright, I'm not going to um. What's it called? I'm not gonna actually play an audio, right? Because uh, what's it called? It would it would literally just be copyright. So, pretty much what you guys would do is you would have uh, what's it called? A sound here, right? You would have a sound, right? So local sound is equal to game dot sound service. You could create it from the script, or you could just keep it in sound service. I'm gonna just put it in sound service, right? We have sound right there, right? So we have local sound. So pretty much what you're doing is radio dot radio prompt triggered connect function, right? And then you're gonna do sound play. Make sure that you, by default, the sound is not going to be looped or playing and stuff. So just inserting the sound, you shouldn't have to worry about it like automatically playing or something. You usually have to change the property or enable it via a script for it to actually start playing. Now, obviously, um, this will not work because obviously there is no, there's not an actual ID. Make sure you get a sound that has an ID. Like you could just go over to the toolbox and just go, go to audio, then go to music and just get something from here and stuff. Um. Now we're gonna need to add an if statement for this, right? Because we needed to we needed to detect if the sound is currently enabled or disabled, to then know whether or not to enable or disable it. So we're gonna do if sound dot playing is true. Oh, equals true, right? We're gonna do sound stop. Then we'll do else if sound dot playing is equal to false then we can just come out here copy and paste this delete this come up here copy and paste that by clicking control v backspace there and boom now since i'm not testing with audio i will test using print statements to show you guys it works so here we'll do print sound or we'll say music we'll say music music has stopped and we'll say come out here say print mute music has started All right so let's go ahead let's click play i probably should have changed the object text for the proximity prompts but it doesn't really matter yeah i probably should change it instead of interact but anyway All right so as you can see it says music has started music has stopped started stopped started stopped so yeah pretty much if there was audio it would be starting and stopping and starting and stopping and vice versa right so yeah that's how you that's how you guys make a radio and stuff i hope this video was helpful and stuff uh if you guys have any questions or anything you can join the discord links 
to join my Roblox group and Discord. You can be found in the description. Thank you guys for all the support you guys have been showing. Let's get to 350 so we can get halfway to 400 and stuff. I mean, honestly, I wouldn't even be surprised if y'all could get me to 400 by 2023. So, yeah, appreciate the support. I'm probably going to drop like two more videos later today. I'm just trying to go crazy and stay as consistent as possible. So, yeah, I'll see you guys. Thank you guys for watching.